Hi guys! In today's video, I figured out I would talk about my monogram vintage bags. So I've been collecting vintage bags for some time now, and I've just counted and found out that out of all of my vintage bags, half of them are monogram bags. I think it's quite obvious that I really like monogram patterns. So in today's video, I'll be showing you all of my vintage monogram bags, which covered five designer brands and with nine monogram patterns. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'll start with one of the most famous monogram patterns in the designer world. The very famous Louis Vuitton monogram was created in 1896. So one of the purpose to create this Louis Vuitton monogram pattern is to prevent fakes. Um, however, ironically, the Louis Vuitton monogram pattern is one of the most counted rated patterns in the designer world. Personally, I have one Louis Vuitton monogram bag. Uh, this style is actually called the Vivian PM. It's just a little tote bag with this top handle. Personally, I was quite late into being attracted by the Louis Vuitton monogram because I think it is too popular and too commonly seen. It's like even you're not into fashion brands, you will recognize the Louis Vuitton monogram. But then I guess later on, I understand the um, attractiveness of this monogram pattern. And so I decided to add this Vivian PM back in my collection um, just because I think it is less common. It is a very unique vintage style that is not available in the current bags. Um, after owning this bag for almost a year now, I found that I wasn't using it that much. Uh, perhaps it's the monogram pattern, or maybe it's because of uh, the practicality of its back. Uh, the original design doesn't come with a long strap, and um, I've tried uh, adding a strap into this back, and it it actually feels quite weird. So I don't think I would add a long strap to this back. I'll just use it as a little top handle bag. Another very famous Louis Vuitton monogram print is this diamond print. So diamond literally means checkerboard in French. It is created in 1888, which is eight years earlier than the Louis Vuitton monogram print. I've got this Stanmere event print in this uh, little pochette style. I think the Stanmere event print is more subtle than the monogram print. Although both of them are made in coated canvas, the Stanmere event print is slightly more durable than the monogram print. Um, my personal feelings towards its two monogram print is that um, the Stanmere event print is more subtle and more understated while the monogram print it's like more common it's just a personal preference but i think if i am to add another louis vuitton monogram print back in my collection i might go for a smaller bag for the monogram print but i don't mind a larger bag in the diamond event pattern so next up is celine which is my favorite vintage brand and the story behind this triumph logo is that the founder of the brand celine viviana whose car was broke down in front of the famous arc the triumph in paris and then she saw the chain outside the building and was inspired and put that into the logo of her brand. I absolutely love the Celine Macadam in which I have actually got four colors of this pattern. Here is the most classic and commonly seen pattern in the brown color and I also got it in this beige color. My favorite is this black color and I also got this in a white color. I have a whole video talking about my Celine bag collection, which features all of these four bags, and I talk a little bit about the story behind it. So if you're interested, you can go and see that video. And other Celine monogram print that I owned, it's the print with a C, which stands for Celine, with the very iconic horse carriage pattern. So I've got two bags in this monogram print. So here are them. As you can see, this navy one has a smaller C and a horse carriage logo, while this brown one has a bigger monogram. Uh, the age of these two bags, I guess, 
it's older than the four macadam bags that I've just showed you. So again, these two bags were featured in my entire sling bag collection. So you can also revisit that video if you're interested. The third brand I'll be talking about is Christian Dior. So one of the most iconic monogram print is the oblique print, or it was called the trotter print in the old days. And this print was created in 1967. So the one Dior oblique vintage bag that I owned is actually this one. It has this beautiful blue oblique pattern all over it and also has this really shiny Christian Dior logo here. I really love this Dior vintage bag and I like that it is not that common. Another Dior monogram print that I own is called the Honeycomb and this is the bag that I owned. Um, it is in this really gorgeous white color with the gray um, pattern on it. Um, it's, it looked like a honeycomb. When I looked up the information about this honeycomb pattern, I actually didn't find much information. Uh, I guess one of the reasons is that it is not that popular, uh, which is something I like about vintage. So it's not like everyone has the same bag or same pattern. The fourth and the second last brand I'll be talking about is Gucci. I got this Gucci monogram clutch bag in this really iconic uh, pattern and also have got this uh, Gucci red and green strip. Um, this vintage bag is originally a uh, clutch bag. The reseller uh, helped me to put this little ring here so I can use it as a shoulder bag or crossbody bag. I've owned this bag for over a year now but I have to say I didn't reach for it that much and I think one of the reasons is that I'm not so sure about how the Gucci monogram looks on me. Um, it's actually a very elegant style but kind of a bit loud but then it is a really beautiful bag in a pristine condition so I think I'll just keep it for some time to see if I can get more use of it. And so this is a really beautiful Gucci monogram pattern and the one and only Gucci vintage bag in my collection. The fifth and the last brand I'll be talking about is Fendi. I've got four Fendi baguettes in their very famous monogram pattern. One is in the Suka pattern, which is a large double F. This very famous Suka pattern is the very iconic and popular Fendi monogram, which was created in 1965. So Fendi later on also introduced a much smaller version of this monogram pattern. Uh, it's like a mini FFs, which they call the Sucuccino. I have three of the bag here, and they are all in a baguette style. And I've got this in this mama baguette style and I also got it in a regular baguette size. It is a pink one. And then I also got it in the mini baguette in this uh, light blue color. So yes, so I've got um, three bags in the small FF pattern and one bag in the large pattern. Um, so I've actually featured all of these baguettes in one of my videos talking about Fendi baguettes. So if you'd like to know more of more about these bags and a bit close up about them so you can check out that video. So this has come to the end of today's video. Um, I have to say I really like monogram patterns in a vintage bag. I hope you enjoyed today's video of me talking about all the monogram prints in these five designer brands. Uh, please let me know in the comments below uh, which brands is your favorite or which monogram print is your favorite. So that will be the end of today's video. Bye!